going to show you how to draw an animal with an umbrella. And Lexa is going to do an elephant, and then Lila is going to show you how to draw a llama. So, no problem. What supplies do we need today, Lex? We're going to need a pencil and paper. And they're going to use a sharpie just so you can see what they're doing. And that's no problem, Mama. <laughs> All right. So we're going to pull this a little closer. And Lex is going to start with the top of her elephant's head. It's going to do a It's a curved ball. line. There we go. And then she's going to do the back side of the elephant's back. So it's another curved line. So, so now we have two curved lines. It kind of looks like a bird. Yes, a very big bird. All right, keep going. Do his hiney. Hiney. So we're going to curve that line around and then go down to his feet. Alright, now we got the back side of our elephant. How about finishing off that leg? Alright. So, move your head for a sec. So there's his leg. Now she's got to add his little toenails. In the lines. And then he's got some wrinkles in his leg because he's a big old elephant. That's old. They have wrinkles in the when they're not old. Mm. It's just because they have all that fat stuff. All right. In. Now she's going to draw the line of his belly. Bella. Which is another slightly curved line. And it's going to look like it's under his um, leg. So you're going to take one side and when it stops, you're going to go on the other side because you're not going to... Well, just draw that, draw that leg first. Okay. This leg draw... Okay, step back. There's one cool. See it's me and you. There's his other leg on that side. And then she needs to go back in the middle and she needs to add the two legs that are on the other side of the elephant's body. Okay. I'm hiding over here in the corner. Just waiting for her turn to draw her lava lava. You can probably see my shadow right there. Did you show him that leg? Oh. So there's leg number three, and then she's going to draw that fourth leg. Wait, don't elephants have three legs? Wait, no, they have four legs. I'm a weirdo. Alright. Okay. So she's going to move her head quick. And then... We need to continue that belly, a small curved line, so it's going to attach to the head. There it is. And then she's going to go back to the top of her head and draw the from the top and then draw the trunk line, right? Yeah. Okay. It's, his trunk is holding the umbrella, so just so it just holds his head because um, they're pretty big. <laughs> yes, he would need a very large umbrella to cover his whole body, wouldn't he? Probably like the size of the room we're in right now. Or probably bigger. An elephant can't fit in this room. But a llama can cover his whole body. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, a llama can figure out. Figure out. 
And then stop and show. So there's the top of the head and the top side of the trunk. And now she's got to draw the other side of the trunk. It looks like wiggly lines. Yes. Don't con. Mm. Oops, stop. Perfect. And that. And we're going to. Keep going. Just like that. Now we got a trunk. Now we're going to do the Mish's mouth. Just from that thing. Like that. Now the elephant has a mouth, and now you just got to attach the bottom of the head to the back of the body there. Okay, show them that curved line. Perfect. Look at that elephant. Looking good. So now the elephant needs an ear. Yeah. Like that. There's that ear, and now he needs an eyeball and an eyebrow. And, and we we'll only see one because the elephant's sideways, and when you look at something from the side, you only see one eye. Hey, Waggy people, you forgot his tail. We didn't, we just didn't get there yet. Oh. She's going to do his tail, and then she's going to give do his umbrella. <laughs> so his tail is just like a long line. And then there's one that's above it. They look like sevens, but they're not quite. And there, there's a little, like, a little, like, it looks like a draft tail, but it's not. At the <laughs> bottom, it has, like, a little, like, it's like ice that's, like, almost going to drip. You could check out other videos and then just add, a, add an umbrella to it. All right. So now the tricky part is adding the part that the elephant is holding with his trunk. So the stem of the umbrella, go ahead and draw that. So to make it look like it's holding the umbrella, you got to leave a, so it's overlap, can you scooch? It's overlapping, so it looks like. The umbrella is on top of the trunk there, and then it's going to go behind the trunk for the rest of it. So it looks like it's wrapped around. Okay. There's the other part. And then just got to do the bottom where it has the little J part. That's right. One, one J small, one J big. Like that. Look at that. Nice job. Now, the top of the umbrella. umbrella. So, draw the big, the, draw the big U first. Okay. Or, it's an upside down U or an N without, an N without the little stem on the side. Alright, step back, let them see. There's that shape right there. It's like a little hill. Alright, so now add the... Wavy line underneath. It's a little wavy, not that wavy, but like that. And then you gotta add your lines from the top, middle, to each curve. Just like that. And there is your umbrella, or your elephant holding the umbrella. Nice job, Lexi. Super cute. Yay. Lila's turn. And then you can go ahead and color that however you like, or you can just leave it as a drawing. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Lexa threw you away. <laughs> she doesn't want you guys anymore. 
Not very nice, aren't you? Why would you steal this nice thing? Alright. Here comes Lila with her llama. Who took the oh it's right here, I took it. Okay. So I'm gonna start with this faction feet and then I might switch it in a minute. So Lila is going to start with the head shape. Head and Okay, so the first shape you're going to do is this, right little like right there. So it's like a hill. Or she's gonna start with a small curve, I guess. If you did the whole top of the head, it looks like a little hill, just like Lexi did. Her umbrella. Then you can just do some zigzags at the top. Like that. That's for his hair. Yeah. It looks like a little crown. have crazy hair days. <laughs> it looks like a crown, kind then, of. Then you're going to just do this. And then do like a little wavy line down like that. And Llamas are very furry, so she's not doing straight lines. She's adding a little wave to her lines to make it look like that hair on the llama. At the top, it looks like a little crown, but it's hair. Yeah. Okay, next, you're going to do the yeah. neck. So you're going to do, you're going to start there. Then you're just going to go down. You're like, and then just do a little arm. But keep a space so it looks like, so we have enough room to finish the umbrella. Like that. Then you're going to do the other side. Like that. And then just a little over there. Like that. Then you're going to keep going up. And then just do that. To finish off the fur. I'm only doing half of the body. No legs or anything. Because his body like stops at the end of the page. So then we're going to do this. You're going to do the same thing on the other side, but it can be a little bit just like that. So it's starting to look like a body. Well, can't be a body without a face. And we got to put some wavy lines in the um, neck and like body. So let's just do these, his eyes. I'm going to switch and do this one. Because I have this smaller space, so I'm going to do this one eye. I'm going to do the other eye. Then we're going to do one circle. And we are sorry about that. Again, our dogs keep barking. Every single time. Now I'm going to use my bigger one. They like our video. They like interrupting it. So then you're going to do a couple of circles. One circle like that. I did eyes without messing them up. It's a miracle. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back to my skinny one. And I'm going to take off the cap. Then you're going to go in front of his eye. And kind of make like a pear shape. Yeah, I got it. The one thing I don't like about it, sometimes it doesn't draw well. Kind of looks like a big fat nose on a person. <laughs> then we're going to add this little mouth like this. Can't really see that, but there's a space. Then you're going to do... Yeah. 
trust me, it looks way worse in right here. Fish. I don't really like the most. It's because of this. Okay, either way, now we're going to do a couple little details. So we gotta do these wavy lines. Oh, I totally I can't forgot. See them. Oh, but we got little wavy lines here. It, those are representing the fur that would be all over the llama's body. I'm going to just use switch. I like this one. Okay, so. Just go over these ones. Alright, don't forget his ears. I know, I was gonna say. He's an earless llama, he can hear nothing right now. Give him some hearing, give him some hearing. Okay, now we're gonna do some hearing. Hallelujah. Okay, so I can see. So it's like a curved triangle, like a mountain. Gonna do one on each side. Then you're gonna do another one in the end is here. That would probably be pink, I'm guessing. So there's our llama. So you remember when we have this? Look at there's no umbrella. He's just doing this to his heart. <laughs> Okay, now we gotta add the umbrella. So we're gonna take our Sharpie, well, pencil, and then I'm going to do a curve. So we're gonna do this little curved line. The J shape, as Lexi told you. Yeah, yep. He just told me what this is. But Lila's looks more like a U because of where it is on the Lomo. There it is. Then you're going to do two little lines right above, right here. Because if you don't have those, it wouldn't be looking like it was coming out. Yeah. Then you're going to start like upper. Now it just looks like a cane. <laughs> okay, now we're going to add the umbrella. So from those lines, you're gonna do these little wavy lines. Yeah. Kinda like the fur, but not crazy like it. The fur is like grass on him. Now it just looks like something. Wavy lines. Yeah. A s wavy All lines right. on a stick. No so water. Now you gotta do the top of the umbrella. So now we're gonna just do. Do, you gotta do this whole shape first. Oh. And then that's how you know where to put the other lines. Yeah. So that's our llama. It looks pretty good. He's ready for the rainy weather we've been having around here. I think I might add some details, and I might add some raindrops. And Lexa went and colored hers while Lila was drawing. That's awesome! So that's our Crafting with the Crankers for today. If you want to do a different animal, we would love to see them. Bye! We'll see you next time. I'm doing some raindrops if you would like, so... Bye. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Don't next forget time. to subscribe. Yeah, and like this video. If not, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bye.